friends. I'm so glad we could join together again today to draw our way through the ABCs. Let's review all the letters we've done so far, right? We drew something to start with an A, a B, a C, a D, a E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. What comes next? Q, you're right. Today we're going to draw something that starts with the letter Q. So Q makes that qu sound, like quarter or quilt, right? So we're going to be drawing something that starts with a Q, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, right? I like you to try to guess while we're drawing. So all you need are three things, right? Paper, marker, and some crayons. And let's draw something that starts with the letter Q, right? I'm going to move my camera over and we'll get drawing. Let's see. Make sure my paper's lined up. Very good. I have my paper my crayons, and my marker. And I'm holding my paper vertically, which means it's longer from top to bottom than it is from side to side. Right? I'm gonna take the lid off my marker, get to the center of my paper, trace my finger over here, make a dot. Let's go back to the center, Trace my finger over this way, make a dot, okay? And I'm just gonna connect these two dots, okay? And that'll give us a nice straight line. All right, next, I'm going to draw a curve right here. Almost looks, will look like the letter U, right? From this dot, over to that dot. Let's try it now. Okay. So we just have a curve and a straight line. I don't think we can guess yet. I think we need some more clues. Let's keep drawing. I'm go back to this dot, trace my finger up a bit, make a dot, and connect these two dots. All right. Let's go over and do that same on this side. Start at this dot, trace my finger up a bit, make another dot, and connect those two. All right. Get back to the center of this line, trace your finger up, Make a dot there. All right. So we're going to go from this dot to this dot and just make a nice little curve there. All right. And again on this side, from this dot to this dot, just a nice little curve. Hmm, it's starting to take shape. Any guesses? I think we need to keep drawing, right? I'm going to go to the center of this shape right here, make a little oval. Right. Then I'm gonna go over to this side, make an oval here. And over to this side, another oval. Right. Inside of those ovals, I'm going to make a smaller circle. And again, even a smaller circle. Looks like we made some eyes, right? Remember when we make the eyes, I like to color in this part right here black, but not that little circle and not the outer. Okay, so let's just color them in. Right. 
And I'm trying not to color in that center part because I like these two little white parts to be showing this, show me which way those eyes are looking. Right. Let's see. Oh yeah, those eyes are looking this way, right? We have eyes, nose, a mouth. All right, let's make a mouth. Hmm, any guesses what we're making that starts with the letter Q? Qua, qua. Did you guess queen? Is this going to be a queen with her crown? Well, you are right. Let's add some more details to our qu queen. Let's go on the top of this part of her crown. We'll give her a little jewel there, a little circle. Another one here, right? And another one here. Oh, look at that. Let's give her some queen hair. I have an idea. Let's have our queen have curly hair, right? To do curly hair, I'm just going to trace around in circles. And as I'm doing it, I'm going to move my marker down. Watch how I do this. I just go in circles and I just keep moving down. Look at her curly hair. I'll do one over here. I'm just making circles as I do it and moving my hand down the paper. Oh, she has beautiful curly hair, right? This queen, she is so pretty, right? And queen starts with the letter Q. Qu -qu queen. So let's trace up here. Make an uppercase Q. It's just a, just an oval like that, and a little tail. That's an uppercase or capital Q. Lowercase Q starts with a circle like this, and then you go down below the line and give it a little curly tail, just like our queen has curly hair. The Q has a little curl on its tail, right? So uppercase Q, lowercase Q, Q makes it sound like qua, qua, like queen. <gasps> Let's color in our queen. She is just so pretty, right? I think I'm gonna make this part of her crown yellow and make it look like it's gold. going to trace around the shape just like that and then I'm just going to color it in all yellow like a golden crown for the queen right <laughs> Then I'm pretending that these are stones, like fancy stones on the queen's crown. So I think I'll make one of my stones orange. Beautiful. Orange. And the next stone, I think I'll make it purple. And the last stone on the crown, I think I'll make it green. Just like that, right? You know, I'm looking at my queen, and I'm thinking I want to add an extra detail that I hadn't put in. So I'm going to put my crayons back down, get my marker out. I think I'm going to give her eyelashes. Right? Right on her eyes. So to make eyelashes, I just go along the top of the eye, just make little short lines. 
just another detail that I just thought about while we were coloring that I wanted to add. Look at that, right? Now she has eyelashes. A little detail like that changes her face, right? It makes it look like she's bright, bright and happy, right? She's thinking about something exciting that's going to start today, right? Just a little detail changed her whole face, all right? So I'd like her face to be a little pink color, but I don't have pink, so I'm going to use my red. I'm going to do it very light. You could choose any color to make your face, right? We all have different color skin, and you can use any color you would want to color in your queen's face. Okay, so I just pressed so lightly to try to give it a pinkish color. Now on her nose, I might do it just a little darker. And I could even add a detail over here on her cheeks. I could add a little more red over here. Look at that. It looks like she has little pink cheeks. Right? Just like that. Look at her. Okay, and her hair. Her curly queen hair. Right? I think I'm going to make her hair brown. So I just take my brown crayon. I'm going to trace right around those circles that I made with my marker. And just move my hand right down the paper with the crayon as I'm coloring in circles. Right. And look at that. We have our queen. Queen starts with the letter Q. Qua, qua, queen, right? So let's move our camera over and talk about our picture. Right? This was fun drawing a queen with you. And queen starts with the letter Q. You can hear that sound. Qua, qua, queen. We gave our queen a lot of details, right? We gave her eyelashes, curly hair, rosy cheeks. We put jewels on her crown, right? It's fun to add details. Yeah, so that was so much fun today to draw with you something that starts with the letter Q. All right, join me again next time We'll be drawing something that starts with the letter R. Okay, I'll see you then.